Common Online Business Mistakes It is relatively easy to start an online business. But if you don't approach this in the right way you will never be successful. Many people that start an online business give up on it in a very short time. We do not want you to do the same. In this video I will identify 5 mistakes that you need to avoid with your online business. When you avoid these mistakes, you will have a much greater chance of making your online business a success. Before we move on to the list, I request that if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, and share to show your appreciation. Thanks. Mistake number one, not treating your online business as a real business. Most people that start an online business do it out of curiosity. They have seen many wild claims about how they can make a fortune with just a few clicks of their mouse so they get themselves a domain name and some hosting and play around. They follow the methods outlined in some training program that promises them the world but the claims of instant traffic as well as instant sales is greatly exaggerated. When the reality sets in that there is no such thing as making a fortune in their underwear by clicking their mouse and using miracle software, they lose interest rapidly and quit. The thing is that it costs very little to get started with an online business. A domain name is around $10 a year and web hosting $10 a month. If you install the WordPress blogging platform, then you can set up a website for free. So, with so little invested it is no wonder that so many people give up when they realize that it is not as easy as they think. If you don't treat your online business as a real business then you are much more likely to fail. While you do not have to invest a lot of money, you do need to make an emotional investment in your online business. Setting up an online business is relatively easy, making it a success is not. It doesn't matter what others tell you there is work involved to create a robust and sustainable online business. You will need to invest in tools like an autoresponder service to make it work properly. You need to believe that you are creating an asset. For example, the website that you build is your asset. As an exit strategy you can sell your website to an interested party for a considerable sum. When your online business is successful and making regular income there will be a lot of people interested in buying it if that is what you want to do. To create a successful online business, you need to work on it every day. Forget all the nonsense about miracle software. If your online business is just a hobby or a fad to you then your chances of success go way down. Imagine that you invested your life savings into a brick-and-mortar shop in the local mall. Would you treat that as a hobby or a fad? No, you wouldn't, so imagine that you have invested your life savings in your online business. There are going to be days when things go wrong with your online business. Something will stop working or the campaigns that you are running are not delivering the results that you want. You need the resilience and commitment to overcome these problems and carry on. Treating your online business as a real business will help you to do that. Mistake number two, not choosing the right niche. You need to carefully consider the niche that you choose for your online business. If you get this wrong then you can spend a great deal of time, effort, and money and not get much in return. There are thousands of niches but not all of them are a good fit for an online business. In a lot of guides about setting up an online business they will tell you to follow your passions. There is good intention behind this. If you start an online business with a niche that you are passionate about then you will be more motivated to make it work. That is all very well if the niche you are passionate about has the potential to make you a lot of money. You may well be passionate about sheep shearing in the outback, but how many other people are going to be? There are two things that you need to look for when choosing a niche, is there a demand? Is there money in the niche? If the answer to either of these questions is no, then you need to find another niche. You can check the demand for a niche by using the free Google Keyword Planner. Just enter in some seed keywords that relate to your niche for example, drone photography, and see how many 
searches this and similar terms receive each month. The higher the number of searches the better. To see if there is money in the niche use a seed keyword and perform a search in Google. Are there a lot of ads on the first page of the search results? If there are then this is a good indicator that there is money to be made. You can also use a website called OfferVault.com and search for available offers using your seed keyword. If there are a lot, then you are probably on to a winner. There are some niches where you just know there will be a ton of demand and many opportunities to make money. In our opinion the top three are 1. Health and fitness, weight loss, etc. 2. Wealth creation, make money online, investing, etc. 3. Personal development, better relationships, meeting boys slash girls, self-improvement, etc. If you are in any doubt about choosing the right niche, go where the money is. Don't worry if you are not an expert in the niche right now. You can learn and master it. Mistake number three, not having a plan. How many people that start an online business do you think create a plan for their business? The answer is very few. Nobody knows how many online businesses fail every year, but you can bet it's a lot. Most new online business owners do not set goals or create any kind of plan. They are then surprised when it all fails. If you are going to start an online business, then set a goal for it. The easiest goal to set is a financial goal. Think about how much you want your online business to generate in the first 12 months and then turn that into your financial goal. You are probably starting an online business because you believe that it can provide you with the freedom that you crave. This is fine and a successful online business can provide you with freedom. No more working a dead-end job and commuting for hours. Your online business has the potential to make you a lot of money. The only thing standing in the way is you. So, use the smart goal setting process to set your goals. If you are not familiar with this process here is what it means. Specify, your goal must be specific for example, my online business will generate $100,000 in the next year. Measurable, you must be able to measure how you are progressing with your goal. Fortunately, there are a lot of tools available to measure the success of your online business. Achievable, forget the hype here. It is extremely unlikely that you will make a million dollars in your first year. Not impossible, though not realistic, put some thought into the time that you have available and other resources such as money. Time, you must add a time to your goal such as one year. Open-ended goals are useless. After you have set your goal, you need to create a plan to achieve it. What you want to end up with is a daily set of tasks that you can work on to move you closer to your goal. So, think about the macro tasks of your plan and then break these down into daily micro tasks. A simple plan would be, decide on the niche and online business model. Set up website, add content, find offers to promote. Of course, these are high-level activities and there would be sub-tasks involved to achieve them. You can start today by deciding on the niche that you want to enter. Write your goals and plans down and carry them with you wherever you go. Mistake number four, not choosing the right business model. There are a number of different online business models that you can choose from. Some examples of this are Affiliate marketing CPA marketing Selling your own products and services Freelance services Drop shipping Drop servicing Amazon FBA Your own e-commerce store Self-publishing It is critical that you choose the right online business model that suits your circumstances. To open your own e-commerce store or participate in Amazon FBA you will need to invest some money to purchase inventory to sell. Do you have this money available? If not then you could borrow it but you are taking a risk here. If you do not have a lot of time available, 
then creating and selling your own products and services is going to be tough. You can outsource the creation of products, but you will need to spend a fair bit of money doing this. Do you have a particular skill that is in demand? Here are some freelance services that are always in demand. SEO Optimized Content Writing Copywriting Graphic Design, Logos etc. Programming Web Design and Development Creating Mobile Applications Search Engine Optimization Social Media Marketing If you have any of these skills, then you can market them and make good money online. You will need to be disciplined if you are going to do this as your customers will expect work of the highest quality delivered on time. Probably the easiest online business to get started with is affiliate marketing. If you don't know what this is, the concept is simple. There are a lot of product vendors out there that will pay you a commission for promoting and recommending their products. All you have to do is to sign up to their affiliate program and then drive targeted traffic to the offer. Each time that someone makes a purchase using your affiliate link, you will earn a commission from the product vendor. You can promote physical products or digital products. There are affiliate networks that you can use to find offers to promote. If you are interested in physical products, then you could join the Amazon Associates program. You can find thousands of products to promote but you will only make around 3% to 5% commissions. If you go for digital products, then you can join clickbank.com or dgstore24.com and find products that offer 50% commission and higher. One thing that you need to bear in mind is that because it is so easy to get involved with affiliate marketing there are a lot of online business owners doing it, so you are going to have competition. Do you have the latest best-selling novel swirling around in your head? If so, you can write your novel and then self-publish it on platforms such as Amazon Kindle and Barnes and & Noble. There is also the opportunity to write non-fiction books and sell these on self-publishing platforms as well. Drop shipping is where you sell physical products on your website and a drop shipping company fulfills all of your orders to your customers. You do not need to purchase any stock as you just promote the products that the drop shipping company offers. The commissions are not that high for this business, so you need to sell a lot of products to make good money. Drop servicing is a fairly new term, but the concept has been around for years. It is really service arbitrage, you purchase a service from a freelancer at a low price and sell it at a higher price to the customer. All of these online business models have the potential to make you a lot of money. You must choose the one that is right for you and stick with it. There is a lot to learn about all of these different models. Don't jump between different online business models as this will never provide you with the results that you want. Mistake number 5, not analyzing and testing results. One of the major advantages that an online business has over a conventional brick and mortar business is that you can measure just about everything in real time. But a lot of online business owners ignore this or don't use it enough. If you want to know how many visitors, you got to your website last week you can use a program like Google Analytics to tell you this. You can also find out where your visitors came from and which pages of your website they visited. It is also useful to know how long they spent on your website. This is known as the bounce rate and you want your visitors to stay as long as possible. If they are leaving quickly then you need to investigate why and fix this. It is possible to track everything, and you should do this. This is especially important if you are spending money on paid traffic. You can use tracking codes which will tell you how many times a link was clicked and more. Most of the social media platforms have comprehensive analytics features these days. You can use these to see which of your posts are performing well and which are not. Do more of what is working and less of what isn't. You cannot manage what you cannot measure. With an online business you can measure most things so take advantage of this. It will tell you which campaigns are working and also highlight areas of your website where you need to make some improvements. 
This information is golden so be sure to use it. Conclusion I have provided you with the five most common mistakes that new online business owners make which prevent them from being successful. Now that you are aware of these mistakes you need to make a commitment that you will not make them too. The success of your online business depends on this. Survive and be well.